Well, first thing is, I want to say thank you to all of you who wished me well during my surgery. I had surgery a couple weeks ago. Really the only thing left to recover from is the incision site and uh, it's been a couple weeks now and it's healing up nicely. No infections or anything like that. They still do have me on antibiotics and some pain relief and stuff like that. What I really wanted to talk about this morning was we're having an issue with our slide in the RV and the issue is it's cracked. Not the whole slide. This thing called the slide skis and the slide skis are what the slide sits on as it goes in and out. This is the slide ski. This plastic piece right here. It's screwed in here, it's in an L shape, and it goes up under there to provide a little bit of protection too. So this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what a healthy slide ski looks like without being cracked. But as you move down, you can see that it's starting to crack open there. And that's just because, you know, all the elements are hitting this. The sun is beating on this a lot of the times. There's weight inside this slide that's pushing down on it all the time. And so it has cracked open. Actually, this, this is missing a big portion of the slide ski that just cracked completely off. But we did put a piece of Gorilla, you can see the remnants here. We put a piece of Gorilla tape all the way over that for the last couple weeks while we were trying to figure this out. And this is not an alliance issue. This is not any manufacturer issue. This is a wear issue. This is a wear item. So this is an item that will wear out over time. We've been uh, in this paradigm for two years now and we've never had any issues. But we were out filming the other day and Leslie noticed down here on the slide there was a little crack on the base of it. So we looked at the other side of the slide and it has a little crack in it too. This is the other side of the living room slide where the seating is and you can tell this one's not as bad. Just a little bitty crack right here and of course the tape that I put on there has pulled off the, the sealant but you know when the tech comes and fixes that today he's going to replace all that sealant anyway it's not causing any structural issues the problem is when it cracks open it rains it slides down the slide it seeps into there and then water gets into your into your slide which can cause damage and if you don't notice this quickly enough it could actually ruin your whole subfloor and you have to replace the whole floor in your slide we have a tech coming out today we're estimating it's going to take about an hour per slide because the ones on the other slide are cracked also on on both sides of the slide this is one side it's not bad at all just right up here right in this corner a little bitty crack right there and then this side has significantly cracked open here you can see where that's just coming out and coming open now if you are a part-timer or you have your rv in storage a lot you probably won't have this issue as often as full timers because our slides are out all the time in the elements sitting out so if you got these slides in and your rv is stored especially like an indoor storage you're not going to have those issues and also the more times the slide goes in and out the more likely that this item is to wear well i'm very interested to see how this tech does with this um to, to fix slide issues in the field because Typically you think if I have an issue with my slide, I have to take it in, but we have a great tech, Charles. This is the second time we've used him. We used Charles the first time when we had the issue with the breaker box. You remember that? I was throwing sparks everywhere. And we were in this same park when we had that issue and he was local. So we, we talked to him and he fixed us up really good. So when we had this issue, we knew exactly who we were going to call. And you would think that this would be a expensive repair, but and it might be but for now we have an estimate that it's going to take one hour per slide so there's two hours of labor and the actual parts the skis themselves you can get a pair of those skis for just over 20 bucks so the parts not very expensive the labor we're hoping stays around two hours but uh, we'll let you know exactly how much it costs when the tech's done and gone well the slides are fixed well i say fixed they the slide skis are fixed we had a little bit of a water intrusion damage on the living slide the slide with the couch and the dinette and on the side where the couch is took the brunt of it that's where the biggest crack was and that's where i was concerned earlier and but he got the skis replaced there's some water damage in there well this is the old slide ski and it it, it wasn't in this bad of shape this is, he had to rip this off and stuff but i mean it is is pretty worn you can see um, the nail holes right there I could tell when he was unscrewing this thing and the screws were coming out rusted I knew we were probably in, in pretty bad shape and then and then it has a, a little wear hole right here and what that is from because this one goes it would have went right here and so this is in the front part of the slide ski so inside there there's a little 
uh, slide skid that this skids across to make the transition across your floor, not like put marks on your floor and stuff. But I guess that that, that bumper, that skid, is a little too high. But we knew that because there was a, we thought it was just a screw because there's a little gouge underneath the, the RV, which Charles fixed also. Uh, so we're probably gonna have to adjust that little skid down there and maybe shave it down a little bit so that this doesn't happen with the new slide ski. The good news is it's taken care of for now. The bad news is, is that entire slide floor is gonna have to be replaced. Um, and I don't know when we're gonna be able to do that. He said it's not urgent, but it definitely needs to be done. There is some water intrusion damage and it's gonna continue to grow because there's, that stuff doesn't get better with time. And I don't wanna end up, and it's on my side where I sit on the couch. So I don't wanna end up, you know, heals the Jesus on the ground under the slide. So uh, we definitely gotta get that fixed. We'll probably get that fixed this summer. The slide looks good. Everything functions properly. Everything's resealed. The damage was $468 and some odd cents. So and I'll just give you an idea. So pro tip, check your slide skis. Make sure they're not cracked. If they are cracked, at least get them taped up until you can get a tack out to fix it so there's not water rolling in there. And you know these, these storms in Florida are just so massive and they dump so much rain. If you have any kind of a crack or a seam that is not sealed properly, the water's gonna find its way in. It's gonna cause damage and it's gonna end up costing you a bunch of money. This time, luckily, under $500, so not terrible. What do you think, man? About what? Slide ski repair. It, it turned out good for what it could do. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I'm not happy that we need to have the floor replaced. Yeah, I'm not happy about it either. But that's, that's our fault. Yeah, we should have checked. Should have. Uh, but you don't know what you don't know until you don't know it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Walking by, never noticed the hairline crack in the plastic. No. It wasn't until it split enough to where you could see bright wood. Yeah. And then it caught your eye. You're like, wait a minute. We're actually lucky that you saw it when you did. Yes. Because had this gone on for months and months longer, I would have <laughs> just been falling through the slide. We might fall through the slide. Because this is, this is my seat where I sit, and this is where Leslie sits. So it would have went on my side first, and I would have went tumbling. Well, we both would. I think it would have caved at one end, and we would just slid on it. <laughs> we would have been in a pile under funny. the slide. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're headed to the pool. Yeah. We wanted to say thank you to our tech, though love him so much i'm actually going to miss seeing him <laughs> yeah and actually but he they travel too and and yeah we might see him on the road so we'll probably see him on the road and i mean anytime we have an issue we're definitely gonna give him a call first see where he's at that, yeah if he's anywhere close to us we'd rather have him come work on our, our stuff because he did a really Total great job faith in him yeah twice now yeah awesome job charles from cns rv mobile repair um Phenomenal guy. great job yeah so hey check your slide skis yeah <laughs> Apparently they're a uh, high wear item. Yeah, so. check everything. Yeah. Check all your seals. Once, you know, once every six months. Yeah, and that, what's crazy is I pay more attention to that that I didn't even see that hairline crack starting. Yeah. So. Bummer. Oh well. Stuff happens when you're on the road, man. Yeah. Expect it. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.